Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to bitstream BTS or Dolby Audio from a PC to a HDMI compatible receiver. Have a look at what you need and if you don't know what bitstreaming is, read the description down below. So the first step is to go to a website called ccp-project.net and download Media Player Classic and all included codecs. Once you've installed the package, open up Media Player Classic as so. And your second step will be to go to view in the top left menu and scroll down to go into options. A new window should pop up. Once you've done that, look for playback in the menu and in the sub menu, go into output. And it should take you to some settings that we want to fiddle around with. In these settings, you can pretty much leave everything as system default, except we want to change audio renderer in the bottom. What this basically does is it tells the software where to send the audio signal to. In this case we want to select our receiver. Obviously yours is going to look different to my menu. Once you've done that, go back to the left hand column menu but this time select internal filters. And here we see two columns, one saying source filters and the other transform filters. Our objective is to go down each column and untick all formats that we want to use. So go down and untick all mentionings of DTS, Dolby Digital, FLAX or MPEGs if you want. Once you've done that, go back to the left hand column menu and select external filters. You should see new settings with a big empty window. What we want to do here is to add filters to stop the software rendering and to pass on information only to the receiver. So click add filter and search for our first filter called Harley Media Splitter. It's in alphabetical order so it's quite simple to find. Once you've selected it, you can see it's added to our external filters box. Now do this two more times for two filters called LAV Audio Decoder and LAV Video Decoder. Once you've added all three filters, double click LAV Audio Decoder and you'll get a new window pop up. Here, we want to make sure under bitstreaming, all Dolby Digital and DTS boxes are ticked. Hit apply and double click into LAV Video Decoder. In these settings, we're going to make sure your computer is rendering the video with hardware rather than with software. So in the top right under hardware acceleration, go into the drop down menu and either select NVIDIA CUVID if you have an NVIDIA GPU or DXVA2 copyback if you have an AMD ATI video card. Alternatively, you can just select none if you have an onboard graphics card. I have a NVIDIA GPU running on my PC, so you can see I've selected NVIDIA. Once you've done with that, go back into the external filters box and underneath where you clicked add filter, you will see prefer block and set merit. Go and select prefer onto each filter as so. This will force me to play classic to prioritize those filters. Now your PC should be configured to bitstream DTS and Dolby Digital. Go ahead and test and make sure your file you're going to play back has a Dolby Digital or DTS stream. And if successful, your receiver should go from linear PCM to this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like my video, subscribe and leave a comment.